Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Howard White, who is a strategic advisor to Powerhouse Energy, the ticker code there, PHE, and he is also representing a stake of 26% in Powerhouse Energy. How is your day, Howard? Doing very well, thank you very much. It's actually a sunny day in Warsaw. You've had a great, I suppose, 12 months, 13 months uh, for Powerhouse Energy. Uh, Just for people who don't know, maybe you can describe what Powerhouse Energy does. Uh, Powerhouse Energy has a unique technology which converts mixed waste plastic, unrecyclable plastic, and it essentially is an end of life for for this plastic, which is the bane of, of the world, really. Uh, and converts it into uh, hydrogen and electricity. And so you have the cure or the answer to the uh, environmentalists on your plate? Well, yes. As we get the message across and demonstrate this is probably the number one ESG technology around, it produces hydrogen which is a quality for road fuel use it produces it in substantial quantities its feedstock is is an income stream for the technology because people pay in certainly in the western world pay substantial amounts per ton 80 100 euros a ton for the system to consume the plastic it turns it into a very high quality syngas the syngas is cleaned up, and then from that cleaned up syngas, the hydrogen is extracted using standard techniques. And everything in this technology is proven technology. There's nothing, there's no magic black box, there's no technology uh, challenges here. They're building the first one, it's an engineering challenge and all engineering challenges can be overcome. So the enthusiasm and expectation of this operating is in the high 90%. There's little left to chance here. Well, in terms of the uses of hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cells, and what else? Well, primarily we're looking at, at the hydrogen because it is the powerhouse DMG, distributed modular generation. It means that these are relatively small systems, unlike most waste of energy plants, which can range hundreds of millions. These range from 10 to 20 to 23 million pounds, depending on whether you're taking out hydrogen or just taking electricity. So the big advantage is that it is in a distributed format, which is very important for hydrogen and also very useful for electricity because you don't have grid losses when you distribute the electricity. So you've got a twofold benefit. One, you clear the world of waste plastic and plastic's no longer a pollutant. And also then you have a clean source of energy and a a renewable source of energy. So uh, everyone wins. Well, and for me, this is the only technology that has currently the true possibility of reducing the amount of waste plastic that goes into the oceans from Southeast Asia. And that's sort of really at my heart. But... Um, our rollout is currently the first system being built in, in Protoss. And now there is a second stream, a second horse running, if you like, in Poland, which, you know, referring back to the announcement that was made by the company, uh, by Powerhouse Energy, in, on the 12th of November, that they licensed a company called Hydrogen Utopia International, who I have been working with in support in my position as strategic advisor um, because uh, frankly the only the only thing uh, at the moment whilst they are perfecting and building the system in the uk the only thing i can do is create a pipeline of deployments and poland is is the one that we started on and it has been extremely successful in what I would consider to be lightning speed from uh, mid-November to uh, an announcement that Hydrogen Utopia put out yesterday where they confirmed that they have engaged the city of Konin, which is a very centralised city in 
Poland. It is a city that's entitled to the Just Transition Fund, which is a 40 billion euro transition fund by the EU, which is aimed directly at reducing and eliminating lignite coal as a source of power. It creates the the most carbon-laden electricity around. And Ponian has a lignite mine and lignite power station. And they are very anxious to become the the hydrogen centre of Poland. As I said, being centrally located, um, that's very useful because Poland itself doesn't produce hydrogen at the moment. So other companies, distributors of hydrogen, have shown great interest in being able to take hydrogen from this central location in Poland rather than going to other countries where they have to get it from. The hydrogen centre in, in Konin will be partly bankrolled by the EU and other organisations. Uh, yeah, it, it per- is, yes, the Just Transition Fund works as follows. Its two primary goals is to create jobs and reduce CO2. So the, the, the beauty of, uh, of a, a powerhouse system is that it does create jobs. I make, for example, and really not nothing another hydrogen technology, but sort of electrolyzer and wind and solar creates green hydrogen but doesn't create any jobs whatsoever, which is sort of an issue in itself. And also the hydrogen, because we are paid to take the feedstock, the energy that is put in we're paid for, we can actually sell the hydrogen at a much lower cost than the target cost in coding is to sell it for three euros a kilo, which is substantially less than any other technology and, and really at the level of large scale grey hydrogen. So what we what was announced uh, yesterday was the fact that there was a that the city of Conan has first of all legally granted access to the site that uh, we will be deploying the first of 10 systems, they've ordered 10 systems. They'll build one and then the following nine. So the first one we get the, we've got land for, we've engaged Sweco, which are a, a large professional company to start making applications for permits, EIA, et cetera, et cetera. We have a letter from the mayor confirming their complete support for the application for funds from Just Transition. And the total project is around 250 million euros. 25% of that is available as a grant from the EU. That grant, uh, under the terms of Just Transition, must then be matched by the Polish government. So we will be expecting uh, around 125 million euros of grant and 125 million euros of of funding, some of that coming from the ECB, relatively soft loans, and then there will be market market funds coming in. Obviously, all of them have come in at the, at the same time. You know, we'll start off building the first one, and, and then once that one's up and running, uh, I, I don't see any, um, any difficulty getting further funds. So what does this mean for Powerhouse then? I mean, just in, in terms of this deal and potential new deals. Okay, well, well, this deal alone, there are 10 kilns. Uh, the HUI agreement is that they will pay half a million euros per kiln per annum, you know, for the 20-year life of the uh, foreseeable life of the system. So essentially, once it is up and running, let's say in three years, all 10 are running, a powerhouse will be receiving 5 million euros a year, every year, for the existence of the technology. This, of course, is really just a starter. I mean, there are numerous opportunities in Poland. Poland is just at the government level putting its hydrogen strategy together. We at HUI have engaged lobbyists to ensure that they recognize that there are more than two ways of making hydrogen and that this is a brand new technology that no, none of them have heard of, but 
in very short order, they will all know about it and they will all recognize the massive advantages in terms of jobs and low-cost hydrogen that this technology will enable. And so basically you've got 10 to start here in, in Poland, there could be 100 in Poland in the next five years, there could be 100 in France, Germany, blah, blah, blah. It's just a rollout. Which... HUI only has the right to Poland. So from HUI's perspective, I think they easily could do 100 in Poland. From my perspective as our house strategic advisor, I think there could be hundreds and hundreds in, in Europe uh, everyone talks about green hydrogen. Everybody wants green hydrogen. Uh, but when everyone gets to have to pay for green hydrogen, you know, uh, unless the subsidies are extraordinary, uh, blue hydrogen will be much cheaper. And, you know, when you go up to the end user, a trucking company, and you say, you know, would you like to buy hydrogen for four euros a kilo and it's blue, or would you like to be a good environmentalist and pay seven, I would say 99% will be looking for the blue at four or five euros a kilo. I mean, that, that, that's the reality of the hydrogen situation in my view. You know, everyone talks, but getting the price of green hydrogen realistically down to three or four euros and at three, four euros, the powerhouse system can be making reasonable profits and I think that's a very important thing along with of course the number of people that it will be employing. Right just final question we've seen powerhouse go up from a valuation of sort of 10-20 million pounds at the beginning of last year to 300 million plus this year some of your peers are, are worth uh, 10 times uh, your valuation how do you think from an investment perspective you know investors can judge powerhouse at this stage of the game? I'm biased, but um, if I look at some companies that have £200 million turnover and are worth $3 billion, and I look at one of my favorite companies in America that's lost money for 20 years straight, it's got $1.5 billion of carry-forward losses and is valued at $30 billion, just raised $1.5 billion. I think that the market is looking at this scenario. And of course, Tesla, which I mean, we don't even have to mention that. This is a new burgeoning market. I think powerhouse is massively undervalued because people don't understand it. I think they don't understand the potential of this technology. This is a technology that can clean up the oceans. This is a technology that you can run thousands out just in Indonesia and Thailand. And of course, we're operating currently in Thailand on a joint venture. So uh, I think the current price in a year's time, people look back at it and say, it's a steal. On that note, uh, Howard White, Strategic Advisor at Powerhouse Energy, thank you very much indeed. Zach, as always, thank you. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.